so uh, open ds is in uh, held up 3.0 compliant server uh, it's a lightweight held up server which is completely written in java uh, you can get more information on open ds uh, through the uh, site opends.java.net <laughs> uh, for the installation it uh, supports various platforms starting from linux unix solaris to uh, windows and the installation process is pretty simple uh, there are two options we can install it through quick uh, the quick setup which is nothing but a jnlp uh, through your network uh, through jnlp process it will install it uh, and the other process is uh, through a zip file uh, so you can download the distribution and unzip it and uh, just run the setup command and it's it's quite simple to uh, complete the setup and then we we'll, uh, so i have downloaded one open ds server and I have configured with uh, Tomcat server and I'll show you how in server.xml what we have to change and how it interacts with LDAP server to authenticate users. Uh, so to get started, I have used Ubuntu, Ubuntu 10 as my host machine and I have downloaded OpenDS 2.2.1, it's already been set up. Um, and I have also Apache Tomcat 7.1.02 and so first of all I'll show you the configuration parameters before that I'll show you how to start open DS and uh, the, the first set of configuration you need to do uh, so if you open the open DS uh, uh, installation directory you will get several folders say bin and bat mostly bin have some message files where you can access uh, the control panel, you can start a server, you can modify users. So there is something called control panel which is a GUI where you can add users, modify users, add groups or you can manage the entries in LDAP through this control panel. Then come across, if you come down there is something called start DS. This tool is used to start the server. Even if control panel has a uh, tool control where you can start the server also. If you don't want through that, directly uh, start or DS will start the OpenDS server. Now I will start it. So I will just start uh, control panel here. I am already in OpenDS parent directory. In the bin I will start control panel where it will open a uh, GUI program. So it will ask for remote and uh, local servers. If you have a remote server also, you can connect uh, to the remote server through control panel. Uh, so here is, is the complete uh, control panel, admin control panel. There you can see the configuration set, uh, the host name, uh, the direct instruction password is installed, uh, the administrator user and uh, the port number oh, which port number is enabled so here is oh, open with 1389 port number and then the server status is not started uh, so you can start it by clicking this button this option is only available for local servers if you configure remote server with control panel this option will not come like you can't start a remote server through control panel we'll start it you can see the details also Ask the password uh, for the administration purpose. Okay, now it's started successfully. Close this. Now there is an option to manage the entries. Create a new base DN. You can import uh, your user information from LDIF file. Uh, so let's click on uh, manage entries i'll show you creating users or groups and assigning uh, particular user to your group if you click on that another window will open up first it will show you the root uh, base dn so i have dc is equal to example dc equal to com then i have created a few entries so a few users and few uh, groups 
creating entry pretty easy click on the top root element where you want to create a user go to entry there is something called new user if you go through that then you can give all these elements first name last name common name user id password email and then the naming attribute by what name your user will be uh, searchable or user will be available so click on that say uid we we'll choose for uid so whatever name you will give in you will give give it here then click on okay then the user will be created for you creating a group is as simple as user click on new group give the group name and the mandatory is you have to create add a member to the group so click on this add member it will list you the available members say example it so will create one uh, user Let's say demo demo So you can see the entry here. UID equal to demo. DC is equal to example. DC equal to this is a hierarchy of uh, user demo. Let's create okay. Uh, now let's create one more group here and we'll add uh, the user demo to that particular group. Okay, I'll give you give the name is DM group and we'll add the member. Click on that member. List me all the members. demo has come here now click on ok you can see the member is is uid equal to demo dc is equal to example dc will come so uh, the demo user has been added to dm group click on ok now if you see uh, if you click on the dm group you can see a user is added you can add multiple users also to this member now this is a basic configuration for open ds now we have set of users and uh, user groups even if i have created uh, uh, some users uh, which are required to start the tomcat server tomcat uh, manager application so i have a uh, few groups created manager manager script manager gui so these few roles are required by tomcat uh, manager applications to uh, see the to get the pages and i have created a tomcat user with uh, uh, and i have assigned to all these groups to the particular user tomcat now go back to we'll go back to our um, tomcat server there will configure uh, uh, open ds i have a tomcat here installed then we'll go to com folder in the main area is our server.xml where we will configure uh, our LDAP directory information. So now if you browse through your uh, server.xml there is an entry called RAM. Okay, the default RAM will be uh, your uh, file based RAM. So we have to change it and we would add a JNDI RAM to it. The configuration is pretty simple. Comment out the default RAM in your server.xml file, then add a JNDI RAM. Okay, uh, the information you uh, need uh, you, you need to provide is the connection name. What is the connection name? There, it should be the administrative pass uh, uh, directory base. So, for my OpenDS, my administrative user ID is CN equal to directory manager, and the connection password through which password uh, your Tomcat server will connect to. OpenDS server and the URL through which URL and protocol your server will communicate. So our protocol is LDAP and uh, as I told you the port number is 1389. You can see uh, the port number
So this adverse user is seen equal to directory manager and then you can see the port number is 1389 and the protocol is LDAP. So it's connected through the LDAP protocol. Okay, now we'll switch back to server XML and uh, this is the most important part is this. Now the user pattern. So uh, how do you, how does uh, Tomcat search for a user through this LDAP? What parameter sends? So as we configured the open in OpenDS, uh, the user information are like stored through a hierarchy of UID equal to username, then uh, UID equal to username, then DC is equal to example, DC will come. This is the base DN, and after before that, it's pre it's pre and uh, UID information for all users is the same. So this is generalized format UID equal to this. So it whatever username you will pass it the username will be uh, passed through this parameter to be replaced by this and the role base so uh, what is the base directory of your roles if you come across any role dm group or manager the base is this g is equal to this is equal to example this will come so we have to give this now again come back to the server xml uh, role name uh, so what is the role name if you see uh, this is CN common name is given so if you change anything else according to that you have to give it here role name and role search it should be unique uh, member equal to this replace element so this is a common thing now with this element we will start our server and we will verify a few things uh, to start server So this my server will be started. Uh, start my server. So my Tomcat server is up and running. Okay. Now let's go to manager app here. So it asks for some user ID password. I have configured Tomcat Tomcat. Now login. Uh, to demonstrate this con uh, this connection and to validate the connection, I have created a application. Uh, I'll go through the, the application detail in my further videos. Now uh, open this in a new tab. So here is a login a sample application where user you can log in. It will fetch the uh, user groups from server, LDAP server, and give you the result. Let's say. Um, just before we created uh, one user demo demo so let's give it and log in so you can see so whatever group we have created in OpenDS is being populated over here demo group so it comes here now let's check for Tomcat also we have created one user for called Tomcat So Tomcat belongs to these three groups. Okay, so all this information are fetched. So fetching this information is quite simpler. I have used servlet three for my demo purpose, and um, it uses. Uh, so uh, what I do, I just log in through the username password whatever being uh, sent to the server, and uh, through this generic principle. Sorry, generic principle. I will get the all the user roles from. LDAP server. So this is the API from Apache Tomcat. Through this, uh, you can get the, all the user roles from server. Okay. So this is all about configuring OpenDS. It's pretty simple uh, with all your servers.